Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see me. Breaking news from our 8 News Now investigators. The man accused of being behind the murder of Tupac Shakur has secured the money he needs to post bail. Dwayne Keefe D. Davis was arrested last September after authorities raided his Henderson home. The 8 News Now investigators learning that he has now the $750,000 needed to post bail, which could put him in house arrest pending trial. There's a lot more on the story that you can read at 8newsnow.com. Wow. Wow. Man, had to jump on her right quick. Just to speak on this just a little bit, man. Keefe D, now they're saying he's about to be uh, bonded out, man. Some saying, I, I heard somebody said WAG 100 uh, bonding him out. But just to see he's coming back out, how do y'all feel about that? Uh, do y'all feel like it was a hoax to begin with? Uh, do y'all feel like he's getting out for an opportunity? What do you guys think, man? Like, I had to jump just on here and just... I had to check this whole thing out and see, hey, man, check it, man. You know, that's what I do. I check it, man. So I, I'm trying to figure out what they got going now because it's always a hidden agenda in the background. Y'all get in the comments. Tell me what this hidden agenda is. What are they trying to prove? What are they trying to accomplish by letting Keefe D out? He's now posted bun. It was 750000 Somebody put up that bun, whether it was, I don't know, uh, 75K or whether it was, uh, cause it, it might be 10%, 15%. I don't know. I haven't been, haven't been rocking in the jail thing for a while, but I can say, you know, just to see what they got going for as, uh, you know, him coming out. It's crazy, man. West Coast, man. Stand up, man. Let me know what's going on with Keefe D out there. He in the building, man. He going to be out. You know what I'm saying? Uh, did he, did he really, uh, do, uh, Tupac is this book, uh, you know, that he wrote going to incriminate him even more uh, or is it, if it had been on house arrest, what is it going to be a stipulation? That's another thing. We never know what the stipulation is going to be in these days and time. We hear a lot of different stories on different people that go through different things. And that's just one of the ways that uh, they play games with you by letting you out and then they try to figure out what they're going to do and all that. But the main source, I think, is the money. Everybody trying to get paid. That's the whole game. I already know the money is the whole root to everything. That's what makes the plant grow. So I don't know. Like I said, man, I remember just rumors of people talking about this when it first went down. It was crazy to me how people were just chiming in. Man, a lot of people were mad about it, too. Man, I remember interviewing Danny Boy. Danny Boy was upset about that. Danny Boy's a shoe. Man, you know what I'm saying? Keefe D, come on, man. You know. Danny Boy was upset about it. It's been a few people that was uh, upset. OG Paru spoke on it. Went crazy on here. Matter of fact, man, I'm going to call OG Paru. He always got something to throw in the bag on certain situations. I, let me hit him up right quick. I always call him. This is my boy, man. He going to tell me what's going on on that West Coast, man. Uh, Hey, what's going on, man? OG Paru, boy. It's, hey, it's early up there, man. I know I woke you up, baby. Woke me up out of my sleep. <laughs> Say, man, I'm trying to figure out, man. I heard last night, it, it started getting back to me yesterday, kind of midday, that Keefe D done been, uh, uh, they, done, they done got up enough money to bond him out, man. So I'm saying this is the WAG 100s. Something going on with the situation where they done got, they, they done, they for the post bail, get him out. And once they get him out, I was just talking, man. I say, you know, the thing you got to understand is the stipulations may be different. You know, I've seen crazy stipulations nowadays when they let people out. Like when Boosie came home, he, he been had that money on ever since he made it home. And one of my little partners, he, he out, you know, some people got clapped down here and they got him on house arrest. He can't even go outside. What are going to be his stipulations is one of the things that I'd asked about. And two, oh, more, 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 more like it. He, he's supposed to go back to court on the June the 25th. Um, oh, okay. He goes to court for a bail hearing. And uh, uh, I understand with the stipulations, the prosecution want to know where the money came from. And he's asking that uh, the person that's putting up the money don't want to be identified. That's, that's putting up the $750,000 bail on property or, or, or money, whatever it is. But they'll generally have him on house arrest, have an ankle monitor on him until he goes to court. But, uh, you know, some peck of wood been found out the value in him. 
and uh, they, he had signed off his whole life in movie rights and everything else to get out of jail. So they go make a movie about his experience and what the hell, and and bring up another scenario. And the, and most of, most of all, the dudes is you know that his handlers the the shit that they want to keep him quiet. So I guess they couldn't kill him in in the in the county jail. So they you know just let him out. Wow. Well, what do you think about? I remember when I talked to you last time about it, about, about it almost a year ago. Uh, when we, well, it, w- it was in February. Well, it might have been the time before. It might have been August because we come out there a lot in L.A. And you was telling me, you was like, man, you know, Keefe D ain't did this. You know, you didn't feel like he had done it, you know. And, um, and, and everybody, everybody know for a fact he had nothing to do with it. Uh, he, he wasn't even in Vegas at the time. What? Um he wasn't even in it. You have no footage, no camera. All the all the pictures that they didn't took in Las Vegas. You have no nothing saying that Keefe D was in a hotel or a picture of Keefe D. He got a picture of Orlando in the hotel getting beat up, but you never see a picture of Keefe D anywhere. That was a a a, a incinerated uh, story made up by his handlers, the people that were really behind the murder, uh, the cop police department. And uh, um, so it all comes to pass that they come up with all this fake information. But everybody that was around is supposed to have been with him is, is dead. So nobody can tell a story but him and the police now. And everybody has these false scenarios. When you think about it, even if they drove from L.A. because they heard he got jumped on, that's that's three and a half, four hours, man. Yeah, yeah. So, and, and after the fight, after the Tyson fight, it's got to be 11 or 12 o'clock. Yeah, yeah. So if it's 11 or 12 o'clock and you put driving from L.A., they had already been in Vegas during that time. So they, he claimed that they stashed the car, which they never got the car. And the, they said it was a rental car. Then they said the car was painted. They came up with all kind of different scenarios. The police did after the fact, after Orlando got killed. So they made him the stunt dummy. Then they brought Keefe D, who, you know, he, he's not the sharpest tool in the shed at all. And once he got arrested for a drug case, they, all these di- different stories came out, but everybody around that case that had something to say that was different, everybody's perished. How only only people that's alive is niggas like Reggie Wright, uh, Mob James, and nobody else. You know what I'm saying? Wow. Well, I just know I just know they 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 letting him out. Uh, I don't know what's going to become of it. I just wanted to get your take on it, man. I appreciate you for yeah, answering the said, phone. They said that he, they said he's contacted the court and uh, that he got money for the seven hundred fifty thousand dollar bail, and he has a, a scheduled court appearance uh, June the twenty fifth, Thursday, for a bond release, and the prosecution is going to make stipulations, and they have to find out where the money came from and uh, who gave him the money. So. Some big wig from Radar, one of these movie uh, uh, mongols, and find out they can get some juice up out of him and squeeze the rest of the life out of him. Wow. Man, thank you so much, uh, OG Pyro. I'm going to let you get back to it, man. I know it's, it's early up there, man. Get you a little rest, man. I done woke you up. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E. He the reason you see me.